Turn the heat back on. It's so Aaron's cold. Here, and he's cold. It's cold inside here, it's too. It's very cold. Like, it's... That's how you know. Yeah. Yeah, I never say that either. I just, he's right. That's all we got. But now we're going to warm up, right, with some trending topics. We're talking Maybe. about a lot of animals, basically. To be specific, a leap of love, a horse, and a cat rescue. First up, though, the world's loneliest frog, Romeo, might have found his Juliet. This endangered male water frog was the only one of its kind in captivity for more than a decade, until now, that is. An online dating campaign for Romeo raised enough money to fund field expeditions to search for his mate. And earlier this month, two females were found and brought back to the National History Museum in Bolivia to meet Romeo and help save the species. But one was found to be a suitable match and properly named Juliet. She is in quarantine for vets to check if there is any risk of disease. However, the museum is confident the pair will hit it off with <laughs> a tentative date of Valentine's Day for the meeting. You know, <laughs> enough humans okay. struggle to make online dating work for them, and then this frog just gets it handed to them. Oh, yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Life is so unfair. <laughs> it's, a, it's a leap of love, Erin. This is, this is um, yes. We can't make this stuff up. Let's we just can't. say that. I, I like it. It's, I mean, it, this is for a good cause, so this species doesn't yes. die. Yes. So, I mean, it's just a gimmick. Yeah. You know. But the online campaign, I think, is just That's hilarious. Just I mean, something else. I enjoy these dumb stories as much as I know. this guy. So I'm glad for Romeo. Happy early Valentine's Day to well, you. Well, here's something you've probably never seen. Along with that. Yeah, either. <laughs> Firefighters freed a horse who was trapped in a garbage dumpster. The dumpster was near some stables in Huntington Beach. Firefighters lifted the horse named Rodeo, not to be confused with Romeo the frog we just talked about. They lifted him out of the dumpster using a forklift. He's an 18-year-old paid horse. He got loose from the corral, ran over to a stable, and stepped on top of the dumpster. He was stuck there for two and a half hours. His owner stood by him, holding him and talking to him. A vet came by to give a sedative to the horse to calm him down. Rodeo is now doing just fine. And, of course, the owner stayed by just to make sure that he was okay because... That could have ended very badly. Oh, my yep. God. Poor thing. What if you walk by the dumpster and you just see a horse standing at... What do you do? That's why you got to be trash. careful when you're horsing around. You don't want to end up in that situation. Do you think it's Good smelled one. like horseradish in I there? just wanted to beat her to the punch. Uh, here we go. Oh, you're just a naysayer. All right, guys. All right, naysayer. A wayward cat we'll is going. safe after it was rescued from a dam in Indiana. Check it out. The Huntington County Sheriff's Department says a fisherman spotted the cat stranded on the spillway at the lake dam. Officers couldn't reach the animal, so the Army Corps of Engineers workers decided to help out. The workers got permission to shut down the flow of the water and then launched a boat. When the boat reached the spillway, the cat slid all the way down into the arms of the rescuers before it hit the water. Its owner says the cat is an indoor-outdoor cat and had been missing for several days. Other than losing a bit of weight, it appears to be just fine after this ordeal. It may have been one of its nine lives, though. Could I, oh, my God, look yeah. at that. I mean, how does it survive? Plus, okay. cats hate water. I mean, oh, you missed it. Usually, yeah. right? Um, that. That's kind of far away from Yeah. Kids. How does it live? You're right, it has nine Team, lives. There it is. Look. Teamwork. Ah. That was, a, that was uh, for sure a team effort yeah. there. So. Ah. Glad that has an, a happy ending as well. Yeah, yes. that's, uh, that's today's animal news. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all the animal news you'll need, I think, ever in your entire life. But we do have an instant connection poll today. We want to know if you are more of a cat person or a dog person. This is always a war. I can't wait to see the comments. But if you do have a dog or a cat, comment with a picture of them, too. I'd like to see your pets, if you would. Go to our Facebook page and do that now. We'll check that at the end of the hour. But still to come on the morning show, we have something special brewing up for you. That's right. Michael and Anthony from Triptych are here with us. They're going to show us a few of their new beers and some of the classics, too. Plus, we're getting help with the forecast today. Griffin is our <laughs> kid caster this morning. You're going to meet him coming up later on in the morning show. Stick with us. with Emily Braun. You're watching The Morning Show at 9 on WCIA 